Yo, YouTube, what's going on? Tech King Mike. And we are going into the fold and the heavy duty realm of cases for the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now, if you guys just saw my last video uh, or saw the video on the channel, I should say, we did cover the Subcase Unicorn Beetle UB Mag XT. That is a mouth. <laughs> but we did cover the Subcase Unicorn UB Mag XT. That was the thin, heavy duty profile case that had the camera cover as well as the mag safe for the Galaxy S24 Ultra. This is going to be the tried and true Unicorn Beetle Pro. Now, this one here is literally one that I just, I know too many people who have picked this case up and they love it. I have had them in the past. And the thing is, is that the UB Mag XT is a great case, but it's $26.99. This case is $28.99. So I want you guys to see what all you're getting for two more dollars if you pick up the Unicorn Beetle Pro. Both are great cases and both fit a market for who wants one. But this one here, I feel like it's just the one to beat. Now, and I can't wait to see this colorway as well. I got the Enigma color, so I can't wait to see it. So of course, typical subcase packaging, pull it out of the box and you get this nice little plastic bag that has all of your accessories in it. Also, you have a nice foam pad for everything. This is gonna be your first installation piece and this is going to be the actual part that has the screen protector as you can see they've got a part here at the bottom where you can peel off and you can test the fingerprint scanner we will do that so we can see how it works and as you can tell by the color it's kind of violet which means it's kind of matching the ultra and that is the enigma color that we got and then of course this is going to be the other part of the case now this is your holster so We'll put that down first and this is going to be your holster now your holster is not going to have the clip on it like the OtterBox does so there is no way to like prop this up and keep it open but it is still a nice solid holster nice solid holster for your phone i mean there's no flex or anything to it at all i think if you're interested in a good case for the holster this is going to be one to get now Let's take a look at what we get here inside. Now, this is just a little instruction manual. Now, obviously, a lot of people don't go over the books and stuff, but I'm going to go over it because I feel like, hey, you never know. This even tells you how to remove the screen protector. So let's say you don't want this screen protector. It tells you how to remove it and how to insert the case into the how to insert the phone into the device as far as the screen protector is concerned. So we're going to follow their steps exactly how they've had it written down. First things first, though. This is your frame already installed without the screen protector. So if you've already got a screen protector on your phone and you don't want that case or you don't want that, that on there, this is going to be the frame that you can use. And then as you can see, it still has that same colorway as this one does. So they're both going to be the same colorway. But let's flip it over and check that out. Now, I saw this online and I thought that this looked really dope. I thought like, okay, the actual like splashing of the color looks kind of like a piece of art. I do like it. I like the texture to it as well. I think that just having a pure violet color in this colorway is also really good. And that may be available on the site. I'm not 100% sure. But if it is, there's definitely going to be a link down below if you are interested in picking one up. Now, let's go on ahead and pop this open. So as you can see right here, it says... Okay, let's see if we can get that to focus in on that there. It says separating from front casing from rear case. So right here. Now, I don't really have any fingernails, so hopefully I can do this here without too much issue. But we're going to just pull at it like it says. So we're going to pull this apart. I'm going to work my way up the side and boom, pull it right on out just like that. Now, I know you guys are anxious to see, does the screen protector work with it? Can you use the screen protector with this case? And we're going to find that out. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to take our phone and we're going to give it a good wipe down. So I'm going to take a, take a second here. And just give it a really good wipe down. And I think that looks pretty good to me. I see I have a little few pieces of dust and everything, but that's fine. I prefer a tempered glass screen protector, so I may not even use this piece like that, but we're still gonna give it a look and see. So we're gonna peel this off here in the front, like it says. And then we're gonna take it off the back here. We're gonna peel this off the back. And as you can see, there is a small, very subtle point for your fingerprint scanner. Okay, so now. We're going to get that off the screen, pop this on, and boom, this is what it's going to look like with the screen protector on it already. And as you can see, we have a little piece here that's going to be for your fingerprint scanner. So I'm going to just go ahead and pop it on here and see. 
So I'm going to swipe up to unlock. Make sure there's nothing on the screen before I do it. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to lock the phone back. And let's see if it works. Okay. So you do have to put a little bit more pressure on there. And it's actually not even really reading it. So told me to try it again in 30 seconds. So that might not be a good sign. But I do think that if you are looking for one of those cases that has like ultimate protection built in one of the other reasons why it might not be working for me is that i don't know if you guys can tell there's like a little air bubble where the fingerprint scanner is so i'm trying to see if i can rub that out because that may be affecting the clarity of the fingerprint scanner but this is what it's going to look like when you put it on i mean i don't think you can beat this let's see if we can get that cleaned up just a little bit more I don't think that you're going to be able to beat this kind of protection for the price. You have the fingerprint scanner already on and look at that fire right up that time. So now that we've gotten it a little, a little bit more rubbed in boom, every time like boom, can we do it again? Lock the phone. Boom. That's two. Boom. That's three. Let's see. Can we go for four? Boom. That's four. Let's see. Can we go for five? Boom. Five accurate screen protector. Uh, for not screen protector, five accurate fingerprint scans on this phone with the screen protector installed. That is actually really damn good. I'm not going to lie to you. Like this is probably going to be the case that I take when I go back to work because this is going to be that heavy duty, rugged. I don't have to worry about my phone dropping anywhere. Dad clip gang for life. If you know, you know. Okay, if you know, you know. Taking a look around the case, as we saw, it's a two piece installation. We do have some nice thick it makes the case now it is a thick boy it is a thick boy with this on there now but as you can see you're getting some great protection for the money also we do have a kickstand on the back here so you can open this up and prop your phone up if you want to take a look at anything on your phone prop that up and then just clicks right back into place when you're done you have a good good protection around your camera uh, camera array here and overall this is just a really solid case subcase really does deliver when it comes to the overall feel of these cases now one thing that i don't like about that fingerprint scanner is i hate that cutout i really do like i hate that it's so noticeable somebody like me who just kind of notices the little things i hate that it's so noticeable but for some people it's not that big of a deal some people like it hey more power to you but i do think that this is going to be a great case if you're interested in just getting something that's very good for the money very good quality not expensive and it's just going to really do what you needed to do to protect your phone this is going to be one of those cases for you to check out and subcase did not send this out to me i picked this up out of my own pocket because i like subcase cases i've always enjoyed the heavy dutiness of them and for half the price of an otterbox you can't beat it you cannot beat it. So this is going to be the Subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro in the Enigma colorway. There are so many other colors on there as well. If you guys want to see more colors on the channel, let me know. Um, Subcase did actually reach out to me after I had already bought this. So maybe when they send some out, I'll drop another video just highlighting some of the different colors that are available for this phone and in this accessory as far as this case is concerned. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not. I catch you guys down in the comments. And also, if you're interested in picking one up, there will be a link below in the description. With that being said, guys, it's your man Tech King Mike. I will catch you in the next video. Peace.